What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. So, yep, we're down in the basement, aka the dungeon. This is where I get all the work done. You guys have seen many of things down here, but it's back to being my little project area, and I really, really like it this way. I get a lot of stuff done. So, today's video is going to be about a couple things, but first, I want to show you guys my new sump. This is my new DIY sump that's going to be going underneath my 75 gallon reef tank. This is a Marineland 30 gallon tank or they call it the Marine Land 30 long. It is 36 inches long, 12 inches front to back, and 16 inches tall. This has been always my favorite um, sump to go to with a DIY. I think I got it for 60 bucks. That's a pretty good price. And the one thing that I did differently is I painted the sides, the back, and the bottom. Um, I think it looks really good this way. I th was thinking about doing it uh, a lot of different times, I was thinking about popping the trim off and maybe painting the back, the sides, and the bottoms like a different color, like some funky neon pink or something like that, and getting a cool, you know, baffle kit to match. But I went with the all black look. I think it looks pretty good. And I used this new, it's like a bluish purple colored Corian. Like I said, the, the um, reflection's a little bad down here. Since I painted it all, it really, uh, with the lighting down here and the paint, makes it a little bit hard to film. But once it's underneath the stand, it should be all right. But everything came out good. I did use the Marineland silicone. Everything came out real nice. Nice, clean lines. I did use the blue painter's tape. Look at the reflection of my hands in there. What's up, everybody? Anyway, so this is going to be the new sump. It's going to be good. It's going to be cool. It's going to be my sump socks and my skimmer section like I normally do. And this is, I call this section B because it doesn't have to be a refugium. You could put your skimmer in here if you're not running a refugium. This is going to be pretty much filled up as high as I can with all the marine pure spheres that I have. Now, normally I have it so that the water just goes up and over and then down and across. But I wanted to do this little blow through. So now the water is going to come straight through and then it's going to have to go... Um, up and over, you know, baffle number two, and then this is my little egg crate that I have to set the pinky pads on. This will filter anything out before it goes into my um, return pump section. Now, I have a lot of marine pure spheres, and I wanted to stack it up pretty high, so I might drill some holes in this um, here and maybe zip tie a piece of egg crate to it, so that way if the marine pure spheres go up over this port they won't fall through and go into the next section i'm not sure if i'm going to do that i might just pre-drill the holes just for the heck of it just for the future but yeah this is going to be going in um tomorrow night so it's going to be pretty cool it's not going to take me long i actually have a lot of leftover parts from the way the last sump was set up so I'm glad I didn't throw them out because the way my system is put together, you guys know me, I love to use unions. So doing the swap, I don't even have to glue any PVC or cut any PVC. I have um, two unions right here for my return or my drain lines that I'm just going to take off, put the old ones right back on. I actually had them sitting in vinegar for a couple days and then I cleaned them real well. And the return pump is going to be the same. It's This is going to be a little bit higher because, you know, it's... The glass is up a little bit, but that's fine because I have a rubber hose that goes in between my um, check valve and my return pump. So once I take everything out, all I have to do is take that hose off and I might have to cut it like a quarter inch or a half inch and then put it back on the barber fitting with the zip ties and it's going to be all said and done. So I want to give you guys a first look. Now let's go over to this little section here. This is again, this is for um, Cyrus and Chiron. Guys, this is going to be shipped out to you. This is uh, actually a little bit special for, um, you know, sorry this is taking so long. I know you guys are doing a new build, and it's very important to be patient. Uh, this hobby, it's very, very important to be patient because when you rush things, you could possibly mess things up, forget something. Um, you know, just like I was saying about, you know, I want to drill holes in this ahead of time. You know, I didn't want to rush it and put this in. I wanted to think about it for a little bit. So now, like I said, I am going to put a couple holes in this. And in case I need to put some egg crate in there, if I would have rushed it, I probably would have forgot. This would have been full of water, and I wouldn't have been able to get my drill in there. And it would have just been a, a nightmare. So I'm glad I was patient and waited. 
and took the time to paint everything. Patience is the key for this hobby. Trust me, you will um, have a much better time with the outcome. And, you know, it's definitely a good thing. So, let's talk about these baffles. I'm just about to ship it out, and I said, you know what? Might as well film it. So, here's a little diagram of how I like to do things. Here's a little piece of egg crate that you can cut to size. This is four squares wide. Like, mine is only three, but that's because I'm only running a 75-gallon system. If you have a bigger one, you could always leave it wider for a bigger um, pinky pad section or whatever type of... Um, polishing material you're going to put there. Now these are kind of cool. This is definitely going to be a one-of-a-kind baffle kit because I'm not going to be using this color again. So guys, when you do your little DIY sump, it's going to be the only one like it in the entire world. There's going to be no way anybody's going to be able to duplicate the same exact thing. So it's going to be one-of-a-kind, which is pretty cool. So I never really showed you guys how I do the baffles. You can see that these little corners here are cut out. That's for when you put it in a tank. The silicone, you know, you guys could see here how I did mine. The silicone on a standard tank is raised a little bit. So you got to give it a little bit of room so that these will sit flush on the tank. Now the color that I chose, I really liked it because if you look at it, let's see if we can get a close up of it. It reminds me of sand on the beach. It's got a little bit of white. It's got this like tannish beige color little speckles, and it kind of looks like there's like some broken seashells on it. So to me, that's like, I don't know, this is like the Jersey Shore sand. You know, I'm from Jersey, and this reminds me of the Jersey Shore, which was always my favorite place to, you know, hang out when I was growing, I was growing up. So we got the baffle number one, baffle number two, baffle number three, everything's already glued. The back side has the tab on it for the other side of the pinky pad. Got some glasses. Um, you guys are lucky you're getting these because this is all I have left. It's all I have left, so not really giving them out. This was the last shipment of glasses that I'll probably ever do. I don't think I'll ever, I don't know, I always say maybe not, but I might order more. So that and, um, some last remaining stickers. That's the last one I have of that. Some magnets. Those are the last magnets. And nobody's ever seen this, but... This is the, the blacked out edition. So you guys are actually going to be the first ones to get that. So I'm shipping these out Tuesday morning. You guys will probably be watching this Wednesday when I put it out. But that's it. So a little project that I'm finally finishing up. And my little DIY sump that I'm finishing up. I wanted to put this sump back in because my entire system is DIY. The stand, the canopy, the tank. You know, I didn't build this tank or my 75 gallon, but I painted it, I drilled it, I put, it's a complete 100% DIY system now, except for like, again, I didn't build the actual tanks. So I've always um, prided myself on doing DIY and trying to keep things at a budget. And you know, this sump only cost me, I don't know, the silicone was maybe four bucks. The tank was 60 bucks cash. And you know, the baffles that I get, and the egg crate that was maybe a dollar's worth, not even. So we're looking at a sump to run a, um, you could even put this on a 120. I don't, I don't think you'd have a single problem running up to 120 gallons with this sump for under a hundred bucks. That's pretty good. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. The next time you'll see this will be under uh, the tank. And guys, I'm sending your stuff out again. Hope you like it. One of a kind. Only one like it in the whole world. I will never be using this color again. I've never used it before and I'll never be using it again. So you guys are the only ones that have it. So I hope you like it when you get it. I hope it's cool. I hope you like the color. Like I said, it reminds me of, um, you know, the East Coast beaches. It's, that, it's got that, you know, specific color with all the different grains in it and stuff. Really, really like it. But that's it for now. I will see you guys in the next one. And, uh, yeah, Cyrus and Chiron, you guys are probably watching this video, and this is going to be on its way to you. You'll probably get it by Friday. So, that's it. I will see you guys on the next one. Hope you enjoyed this video. Talk to you guys later. All right, I just want to thank you guys again for stopping by. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And while you're here, hit that little crab icon to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell for any future videos or updates. And in case you haven't seen these two videos, you might want to click on one and check it out. Again, thanks for stopping by.